So one of the most popular questions I get through this channel is can you set up your own Shopify store without owning a credit card yourself? Is that possible? I believe that there may be a way of doing this, what I'm gonna talk about in this video, so stay tuned. So thanks for watching Start Starting Up, all about making money online, making sales, videos every Monday or Thursday. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And also, if you have found a way of setting up Shopify without a credit card, different to what I'm gonna talk about in this video, let me know in a comment below. So this video is gonna be for people completely brand new who are thinking of starting Shopify and they wanna get over that hurdle of setting up Shopify without a credit card because a lot of people believe you can't set up the monthly payments and get your store up and running unless you put your own credit card information into the Shopify website. So if you're one of my regular viewers, I know I haven't been around for a little while, I'll be getting back onto videos this week, so check in with the next video. But for you guys that are brand new to Shopify and you're thinking, how do I set up Shopify without a credit card, let me talk about that now. So when you're first starting out with your Shopify store, it's gonna ask you to put in a credit card of your own so that you can set up your monthly payments of a minimum of $29 a month to get Shopify for yourself and start using their products. That's if you've got past the two week free trial, which you can get in the link below for a two week free trial. But after that two week free trial, Shopify is gonna start charging you to use their product. So a big problem a lot of people have is they might not have a credit card themselves. They might be too young to have their own credit card. They might not have the right credit score to have a credit card or they just don't like credit cards or they haven't looked into getting a credit card themselves and they only have like a debit card or PayPal uh, to use. So, you know, I get asked a lot through this channel, can you get past this starting stage without having a credit card? And up until this point, I have to admit, I didn't believe you could. You know, I set up my Shopify store with a credit card and from looking through all the Shopify documentation and all of the forums, the help, forums that the gurus at work at Shopify reply to, all of the questions there where people ask if they can set up Shopify without a credit card. All of the gurus themselves say no. Unfortunately, Shopify only accepts credit cards. You can't use a debit card, a PayPal alternative. So the official Shopify line is no, you can't set up Shopify unless you have a credit card. But I may have a potential resolution for people out there that are having this problem and they can't get a credit card. From looking through the internet and looking through different forums and how topics, investigating and I found out that the PayPal prepay card is different to a credit card. It's really a debit card which connects to your PayPal account and you can transfer money from your PayPal account onto the PayPal prepay card. And someone in one of these Shopify forums said that they've had success using a PayPal prepay card to set up a Shopify store. You know, it's not officially a credit card, it's a debit card, I believe, uh, but it's a prepaid card, so it's a little different to a debit card. But they've been able to set up the monthly Shopify subscription charges to their PayPal prepaid card and use that as an alternative to a credit card. So I personally can't vouch for which option, but if you are desperate and you can't think of any other options, you can't get a credit card, you've not got the right credit score for it, or you're too young, I believe a PayPal prepaid card is a lot easier to get. There's a lot lower eligibility to be accepted to get a PayPal card and to get that sent to you and start using it. And that might be a solution to your problem if you don't have a credit card and you can't get one. So like I said, I can't vouch for this myself. I've not tried it. This is just based on something I read on the internet, but I get so many questions around credit cards and Shopify that I had to try and find some solution. And this is just something I read on the internet from someone that said they've had success doing this. So if you're desperate and you've gone ahead and you've got a PayPal prepaid card and you've tried this yourself, let me know if it's worked for you. Let everyone else know if it's worked for you in the comments box below. Or if you found another workaround around setting up Shopify without a credit card, let me know and everyone else know in the comments below. But my advice really thinking long term is, you know, you're probably gonna find many instances in life where you're gonna need a credit card. Dropshipping suppliers probably will ask you for a credit card to set up your account with them so that they can supply products on your behalf. Shopify is asking you for a credit card here and there's so many more instances in life where you're gonna need a credit card. So I think your long-term strategy should be aiming to get a credit card, but in the short term, if you wanna try and find a short-term fix, then why not try the PayPal prepaid card? Give it a go. So thanks for watching everyone. As I said before, you're watching Start Starting Up, the channel all about trying to make money online, finding platforms, 
different ways of making money online, talking about it and sharing ideas on this channel. I'm trying this all myself and sharing my successes and also my failures on here so that you can learn from my experiences. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not a subscriber. There's videos usually every Monday or Thursday. I've gone a bit off script today and I'm dropping one on the weekend, but there's normally two videos a week every Monday and Thursday. So make sure to subscribe. I hope you found this video very useful. If you've got any suggestions for future videos, any questions or problems you're having, pop a comment in the comment box below and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye.